Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Today, we're making tacos, carne a la mexicana, on the Blackstone Griddle. For y'all that are wondering, tacos, carne a la mexicana, or carne a la mexicana. In other words, meat, Mexican style. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've got a nice little round steak here we're going to cut up. Uh, this is a type of taco that you uh, you don't use a real high grade of meat. You can use a tougher meat. Show you how we slice that up so it won't be so tough. And uh, we're going to add basically pico de gallo to it. Put that in a tortilla with a little guacamole and some cheese. We're going to cut up. I thought we had round steaks tonight. Actually, the wife got a little chuck uh, steaks. Cut off the chuck. and They're going to work fine, though. I'm just going to take some of the fat and a harder membrane off the edges kind of get that out of the way you don't really want that in there but uh, just take your your steak and what you're going to do is you're going to cut them about a quarter of an inch thick um, any thicker than that these tough cuts of meat are going to be too tough for you but just come in here cut them up if you were to freeze these first or not get them all the way froze like almost frozen where they're a little little stiffer then uh, these actually slice up real good when they're good and cold like that, just almost frozen. But just keep cutting those up. These are, oh, two, three inches long. If you want to, you can come back in here and cut those in half, make them down where they're, oh, inch to inch and a half long, maybe. It uh, won't hurt anything at all. You don't want them real big, because remember, this is a tough, uh, tough piece of meat. And so, if you leave these too big, they're going to be so tough you can't chew on them. One of them's cut up. Let me cut up the rest of them, and we'll get right back with you. I tell you, I tell you how chilly it is tonight. Look at this. Got a fire going. <laughs> keeping my, tell you, I got the black stone keeping my front warm and the fire keeping my backside. Anyways, let's get a little oil on here. Got a good hot griddle. And I'm going to take that meat that's been sitting in my fajita season for a while, and I'm going to throw it right on there. And we're going to start browning it up. Got about medium heat on here. And this meat is looking pretty good. It's turning loose, so I know I can flip it now. This meat's cooking really well. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my uh, pico de gallo and I'm going to sprinkle pico right over the top of my meat. Looks like that ought to be enough. Just cook it in with it. Now while this is cooking, I'm just going to sprinkle a little more fajita seasoning on them. I want these nice and spicy. Plenty of flavor in them. And we're going to cook this really till the uh, onions and the peppers uh, get tender. Let these tomatoes reduce down. That meat is cooking down well. And you have to realize too with that pico de gallo, you've got the seasonings from it. You also have some nice uh, lemon juice in there with it. So you're adding a lot more flavors to this meat besides just the fajita season that you had on them. Those are cooking good. I'm going to move them over to the side a little bit. Let them keep going. Now probably not traditional. Usually this is just served with some uh, salsa and some pico de gallo. But I like some refried beans with mine. So I'm just going to take my refries and drop them right onto the griddle. Of course they're going to be in that oil from the meat that we've already cooked. Our beans are looking good. I'm going to get them off, get them plated back up. Now we're going to set these over on the edge on a, on a warming rack so that uh, they don't cool off. A little water on here will bring them beans up off that flat top. Bring them down into the trough. 
Let's see if we can heat up some tortillas now. Let's take our meat off. Put it back in our bowl. I did wash this bowl if anybody's wondering. Just to, just to let you know. My tortillas are starting to puff. That's when you know they're about ready. Let's just start flipping them. Let's drop these in the warmer. Gotta worry about is that that steam. That's what gets you when these kind of grab it away from the puff and. Usually the steam won't get you, but that's what's going to burn you. So that's all done. So we can make a couple of tacos real quick. Got my beans are still nice and warm. Refries. I do have a recipe for refried beans that y'all can find on my channel. I'll put a link for it down below. Little beans on there. Now some of my carne or my meat. Put it on there. I'm going to add a little pico for color. A little cheese on top of that. And there you have it. Tacos a la Mexicana on the Blackstone Griddle. These tacos are looking mighty fine. I'm going to give one of them a try. See how it turned out. These nice hot tortillas. Hard to beat. I tell you, that's a great taco. We, uh, we enjoy these. My son, I think this is his favorite taco. And I tell you what I did. I forgot guacamole. Look at this. I've got guacamole for these. Man, we got to drop some guac on top. Now, I knew something was missing. I went to say that we always, uh, sometimes we get them with sliced avocados. But uh, then I, when I said that, or about said that, I realized no avocado on there. I forgot the guacamole. So now, it's going to be even better. Let's give it another try. Mmm. That is even better. Excellent, excellent taco. Mm. You don't want to spend the money for fajitas? Go get you a, a round steak, chuck steak like this one was. Cut them thin, season them well with fajita season, throw in some pico de gallo, cook them up on your on your uh, skillet. If you don't have a black stone, if you got a black stone, I say put them on there. If not, put them in that skillet, cook them up, get you some nice fresh tortillas to put them on top of little uh, guacamole to go with them got a little bite some good red salsa on them and that's just a fantastic taco for a, a cool night down here in south tech look at oh you see my you see my my breath i tell you it's getting cold down here we don't have that all the time let me tell you but thanks for stopping by texas style cuisine and i sure do appreciate it remember tell your friends and family about us share us on your social media and we're going to see you down the road on texas style barbecue and cuisine how them boys put food away beats all i've ever seen